In recent weeks, there has been a lot of buzz around the possibility of increased social security payments for seniors in 2024 and beyond. Much of the speculation has centered on proposals from lawmakers and advocacy groups to provide additional direct payments to boost the monthly income of retirees and disabled Americans who rely on benefits like Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs, VA, compensation. After months of back-and-forth negotiations and draft legislation, the Social Security Administration, SSA, has now officially confirmed Big changes are coming that could dramatically increase benefits for millions of seniors and people with disabilities struggling to make ends meet. In this video, I'm going to break down all the details of these planned payment increases, including how much extra money you may be eligible for each month, who qualifies, when the payments will start and everything else you need to know. If you're a retiree or someone with a disability living on a fixed income, you'll definitely want to pay close attention. The headlining number that has been circulating is the potential for some recipients to receive an additional $4,873 per month in Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits. Is this for real? Yes, it could be. For certain individuals. Here's a quick breakdown of the maximum payment increases now confirmed by the SSA. For typical Social Security recipients with limited additional income slash assets, up to $2,753 extra per month. For SSI recipients, up to $4,872 extra per month. For SSDI recipients, up to $4,873 extra per month. For VA disability compensation recipients, up to $4,506 extra per month. Now, it's important to note that not everyone will qualify for the maximum amounts listed above. The exact amount you could receive will depend on your specific situation, including your current benefit level, other sources of income, marital status, and more. But the key takeaway is that the planned increases really are substantial. The SSA has confirmed that they will be revamping the formulas used to calculate monthly payments under Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA disability compensation. This includes eliminating income limits that currently restrict how much someone can receive, while also sharply increasing the maximum federal benefit rates. The current maximum federal SSI payment is just $914 per month for individuals and $1,371 for eligible couples. This could rise to over $5,000 per month in the coming years. The average Social Security retirement benefit was $1,827 per month as of late 2022, according to the SSA. Imagine that increasing to well over $4,500 per month for many seniors. So we're talking potentially life-changing levels of additional monthly income here. An extra $2,000, $3,000, or even $4,000 plus per month could make an enormous difference for retirees and disabled Americans struggling with basics like paying rent, covering utilities, and affording health care. The SSA has confirmed that all current recipients of Social Security Retirement and Disability Benefits, SSI, and VA compensation will automatically qualify for payment increases. There will be no additional paperwork or new applications required. The benefit calculations will simply be rerun under the new formulas to determine eligibility and boost payments as appropriate. As the numbers above show, some of the biggest increases will be targeted at SSI and SSDI recipients, many of whom currently live well below the poverty line. But don't worry Social Security retirees, you will also see significant payment increases. Qualification rules are also being eased to expand eligibility. The SSA has stated that income and asset limits used to restrict program access will be phased out over time. Their goal is for essentially all seniors and people with disabilities to be able to take advantage of this opportunity for higher benefits. In addition, the SSA is coordinating with the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs to ensure improvements extend to disability compensation, dependent benefits, and pension programs for veterans and their families. So when can you expect to start seeing extra money in your monthly check? Timing will depend on the finalization of the plan policy changes by the SSA. As currently laid out, the increases will be rolled out in phases starting in 2024. The start will be January 2024, when SSA will recalculate all payments and send out updated Social Security and SSI benefit amounts. 
In the summer of 2024, disability payments under SSDI will switch to the new calculation formulas, boosting VA compensation at the same time. The phase in continues from there each year, with the goal of having all seniors and people with disabilities transition over to the higher payment levels by January 1, 2026. Importantly, all increases will be permanent once in effect and apply going forward these are not temporary supplements. The SSA has also affirmed that payment boosts under the new formulas will be protected from reductions. In addition, the SSA will provide retroactive, lump sum payments to make up the difference for any underpayments in the phase in period between 2024 and 2026. So let's get into the backstory on how we got here. The idea of massively boosting Social Security and disability benefits has been circulating for years, pushed primarily by progressive members of Congress and groups advocating for seniors. In 2022, the discussion accelerated. Multiple legislative proposals were introduced with bipartisan support, including the Social Security Enhancement and Protection Act and the SSI Restoration Act. These bills aim to increase monthly Social Security and SSI payments across the board, eliminate punitive income and asset restrictions that prevented many retirees and disabled Americans from qualifying for full benefits, protect Social Security's long-term solvency without benefit cuts, the proposals gained traction and a revamped plan began taking shape last summer via negotiations between key lawmakers and the SSA. After many rounds of discussion, the SSA was able to finalize a comprehensive strategy that goes even further than the original drafts in many areas. By aligning with the White House and getting support across the aisle in Congress, funding was locked in via must-pass budget legislation this past December. So with resources secured, it's now full steam ahead on implementation of the new calculation formulas and higher payment levels. The SSA has committed to providing regular progress updates to the public as targets are met. This may sound too good to be true or set off alarm bells for some people. After all, when was the last time a government program was massively expanded? Despite strong bipartisan support, there are certainly critics of these plans. Some are concerned about the long-term costs to taxpayers. Others feel individual retirees and people with disabilities should be doing more to save and plan for their own financial futures rather than relying on expansions of social programs. The Social Security Administration has directly addressed many of the doubts. They cite legal requirements to keep the retirement program funded for at least 75 years as beneficiaries increase. Their actuaries also point to forecasts showing that costs will be manageable as the new policies go into effect. From a budget perspective, the SSA notes that implementing these proposals will cost much less than projected prior to the policy updates. Significant savings will come from reduced administration and means testing. So the cash required may end up being less than was originally accounted for by federal accountants. Importantly, the SSA maintains these increases as lawful exercises fully within their authority. This is not a rewrite of the Social Security Act itself, but rather an administrative adjustment of operational policies and procedures centered around how payment amounts are calculated. The agency argues that its mission is to efficiently get benefits to all who qualify. The plans therefore aim to simplify unwieldy rules and streamline things in a more modern direction. Critics who say the changes go too far will likely continue to be rebuffed by the SSA. The key takeaway from all of this is that major changes are coming to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA disability payments. The Social Security Administration is moving full speed ahead with implementation. So if you are a current or future benefit recipient, what should you do? First, Make sure you are subscribed to receive updates from the SSA and stay tuned to official communications. The administration will keep the public posted on progress. You will also receive notification directly from them once your revised payment amounts are determined during the rollout phases. You may want to also reach out to any advocacy organizations or financial advisors assisting you now to discuss how the increases may impact your total income situation. Tax planning and eligibility for other programs could change depending on the amount of benefit boosts you receive. Have you been struggling to make ends meet on your Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits? Well, good news may be coming your way. President Biden recently unveiled a bold new plan that could put an extra $488 per month directly into the pockets of millions of Americans who rely on these crucial programs. 
That's right folks, we're talking nearly $500 extra dollars every single month to help with rising costs of food, housing, healthcare, and more. Just imagine what you could do with that kind of money that's an extra $5,856 per year. You could finally get caught up on bills, repair that leaky roof, take the family on a much needed vacation, or simply enjoy greater peace of mind knowing your nest egg is a little cushier. So how exactly would Biden's plan work? Well, according to senior administration officials, the proposal calls for an across-the-board increase of around 10% for all Social Security Retirement, Disability, Survivor, SSI, and Veterans Benefits. Critics argue the increase is too costly and unnecessary with inflation already starting to slow. But the White House counters that Social Security and other benefits have failed to keep up with the true cost of living for years, especially for the elderly and disabled. Biden expressed his strong support for finally giving our seniors and most vulnerable citizens the fair shake they deserve in comments to the press. He noted many had to choose between groceries, medication, or utility bills on meager fixed incomes. With Medicare premiums and deductibles devouring bigger shares every year, the president declared the proposed boost will ease the squeeze on families and provide them some long overdue breathing room. Of course, the devil is in the details and the big question is whether such a plan can garner enough backing from congressional Republicans to become reality. While budget hawks are sure to decry the price tag and deficit impacts, the White House believes the popular reforms could put GOP lawmakers in a political vice between seniors, a key voting bloc, and charges of callousness. Some analysts predict a scaled-down version would have the best chance at bipartisan passage. Yet Biden doubled down on his vision, tweeting, over 60 million hardworking Americans deserve more than just getting by. No one who gave their best years to build our nation should ever have to scrimp on essentials. It's past time to deliver them the dignity they've earned. Should the president's proposal succeed, estimates indicate the average $488 monthly raise would go into effect starting later next year just ahead of an election where both parties will doubtless vie for the support of security-conscious seniors and those receiving disability benefits. What happens next remains to be seen. But if you're counting on help from the Social Security Administration or Veterans Affairs, Biden certainly seems intent on putting more of your hard-earned money back in your hands.